The inhaled insulin of Freza has been approved for over a decade now, and the clinical trial results consistently show that a Freza helps lower postprandial glucose, reduce hypoglycemia, and enable glucose control similar to that of hybrid closed loop systems. But practitioners still don't know how to prescribe it, get it in their patient's hands, dose it, and identify patients that might benefit the most. But don't worry though, we're gonna take you through this right now. I'm Dr. Steve Edelman. I'm Dr. Jeremy Pettis. And we are taking control of your diabetes. Now, Steve and I, we talk to patients and providers all over the country. And from what we hear, we know the conversation around Afreza can be challenging. In fact, they often go a little something like this. Hey, how's it going, Jimmy? It's going pretty good, Doc, um, except that I've really been struggling with some high blood sugars after meals. And I was wondering what you might think of Afreza. Afreza? What's that again? Oh yeah, that inhaled insulin. You know, I'm, I'm not really sure you need that. Really? You know, I, I kind of heard it could be good for me, but I don't know, what do you think about the dosing? Crap. How do you dose that stuff again? It comes in cartridges, right? Quick, think of something. The dosing is good. Okay, um, well, you know, inhaled insulin certainly seems different than just injectable, so, you know, what about my lungs? Does it affect my lungs in any way? Man, what is this guy, the Afreza please? I really need to read up on this stuff. Say something convincing, but vague. I think the data on that is certainly something. Okay, well, I think maybe I'll just look into it a little more and I'll get back to you about it. Oh, thank God. Great idea, Jimmy. Let's talk again soon. All right, so obviously that was an exaggerated scenario, but not that exaggerated. There's still a lot of questions floating around about Afreza. Practitioners aren't comfortable with it, but it's a really, really legitimate option for all your patients with type 1 or type 2 diabetes, and it's now actually recognized by the ADA standards of care as such. So we need to know how to prescribe and use this stuff. So Steve, starting from the top, what patient can benefit from a from Afreza, and why is it cool? Well. It's cool because it has rapid on, rapid off pharmacokinetics. That means that patients have a better postprandial blood sugar and less delayed hypoglycemia, improved time and range as well. So it's something that subcutaneous insulin cannot achieve. Yeah, I would say for the type ones, they love that rapid on, rapid off. The type twos, maybe just not having to do an injection, you know, that's something else that's pretty novel about it. So. Um, for your patients on insulin, do they have to be on injections like a basal insulin or can they be on pumps? What's the deal there? Well, it, there's a lot of flexibility. First of all, you cannot be on a Fresa alone if you're a type 1. You need a basal insulin. Mm -hmm. If you're a type 2, you could be taking a Fresa before meals and it may work perfectly well. And you could use it with also pumps that do not have automatic insulin delivery. However, you and I and many other folks out there in the world do use it with their AID systems, but it's not officially approved for that use. All right, I'm convinced. Um, I wanna try it for my patient, um, but you know, in our video, the questions around the lungs comes up, which is natural, right? You're inhaling this, this is a little atypical. So what do I need to know as a provider? One, about any kind of monitoring I need to do, any contraindications, and what do I tell the patient when they ask, like, what's going on in the lungs? Yeah, well, first of all, it's available for, 10 years and they haven't come up with any adverse effects in the lungs. Make sure your patients aren't current smokers, they don't have active asthma or COPD, and you Carry get it. Around all the time? Yeah, 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 <laughs> it's in my pocket. <laughs> this is a little device that measures FEV1. Uh, you can ask your local mankind rep to get you one and it measures FEV1 and you should get it at baseline six months and then yearly. Not because we're looking for lung disease caused by Afreza, but primarily we look for people who have underlying lung disease before they ever even try Afreza, mm -hmm. just to make sure we know that their lungs are in good shape. Yeah, and it's important to just you know give confidence to your patient. This doesn't cause any lung problems. It doesn't cause lung cancer. What it can cause is a cough especially when people first start using a Freza, but if they maintain on it for at least a month or so, that typically goes away, which is important. So if you're a diabetes practitioner, you've been prescribing insulin for years, if not decades, but a Freza is a little different. Yeah. So it's worth taking some time of how you actually prescribe it. So I'll have some screenshots of, you know, you and I use Epic, 
at UCSD, but whatever EMR you use, you know, you type in a Frezza, but you're gonna see all these different options. And why that is, is because a Frezza actually comes in three different cartridge sizes. The blues are four units, the greens are eight units, and these yellow ones are 12 units. So you can pick different combinations of these. You can give a patient all fours, all eights, all 12s, eights and 12s, fours and eights. And so usually we start with this combination pack of four eights and 12s, and I'll show you exactly where that is. You click on that, you order it, and then a patient can come back to you and say, you know, I'm actually using all of them, or I'm only using fours, and you can kind of tailor the prescription yeah. to that. Yeah. So it's important to kind of know that piece of information. Now you can use your regular CVS, your Walgreens, whatever you usually use, uh, but Mankind, the makers of Afreza, has a portal that you can use called Aspen. And the best thing to do is talk to your local rep about how to use this system. They can walk your office through, especially the first couple times to get it kind of in your clinic flow. So that's the kind of nuts and bolts on like how to actually order it. Now, what are some tips and tricks of actually getting it covered, getting you know through the prior auth process, yeah. Steve? Well, this the Aspen system will help you get it approved. That's important. Yeah. And it's available to every physician in the United States. But documentation is important. And it's important to document that document that your patients may have postprandial spikes, that their time and range is not where you want it to be. They have excess of hypoglycemia, especially after dosing, lipohypertrophy, and gaining weight on subcutaneous insulin. And you don't have to like, you know, document what's appropriate. It's not like you have to have all those things. Yeah. The patients are yeah, don't dealing, make with, them up. <laughs> dealing with any of those issues. It'll help just kind of, you know, get it approved that it's indicated. So that is, you know, all those things are really critical and you really just have to try it. You know, like we understand that this takes a little bit more time for the practitioner rather than just clicking on your regular Humalog or Novalog. But once you do this once or twice, gets into the flow, you're set. Okay, so Steve, how do you dose a Frezza? A patient, you know, you get them, you got the fours, eights, and twelves. Is it just like rapid acting insulin? Is it a unit to unit conversion or what do we need to tell people? Well, basically it's one to two. So for example, Four unit of Frezza cartridge is similar to two units of subcutaneous insulin. Eight unit cartridge is like four units of subcutaneous mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. And we, we tell patients that they have to, it's a little bit of trial and error, but we typically ask them to try it first when they're correcting for a high blood sugar. Mm -hmm. 220 going across, you take a four unit cartridge and you inhale it and then you sort of see what happens. You yeah. may have to do it more than once, but it's a trial and error and patients learn very quickly. CGM is critical here, so people can see how quickly that it drops them, how much, et cetera. So, all right, Steve, you've started patients and I know you and I both started multiple patients. And you know, we're not trying to like, you know, uh, give this all a silver lining, but what do you typically hear back from people? Yeah, well, we hear back that patients love it. Yeah and you can't buy it back from them. And they, it just helps them get the, get those sticky high blood sugars down without having to give multiple boluses of sub-Q insulin. It helps them handle things they could eat that they wouldn't normally be able to eat, like mm -hmm. things with concentrated carbohydrates. You know, and it's like you said, that people, it's just so frustrating to be have high blood sugars and your insulin's just not working. To just have a Frezza, you know, bring your blood sugars down, get about your business. You know, we've been eating all kinds of, you know, fun carb things now that we're on a Frezza. Not that you should all the time, but you can with this. So hopefully with this video, we're eliminating that problem that you just said that, you know, we do hear that a lot. I asked my provider, they said no. And I think a lot of that comes from just not understanding how to use it in the right patients, et cetera. So we hope basically with yeah. this that people will be armed to go out and, you know, try it for their appropriate patients. Anything you want to say? I, I would just say, you know, it's it's worth the eff extra effort for it your is. patients. And like you said, once you get your standard way of prescribing a Frezza down, it'll be a much easier. Rely on your local Mankind rep. Yeah. Learn about the Aspen portal and find out which pharmacies are a Frezza friendly. And there are some that are more than others. Yeah. Well, thanks for listening. We'll see you on the next one. Excuse me. Ha, 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 ha.